all right hello and welcome to map it with tracy it's march hey a new month where are you in your journey are you stuck are you pushing on are you fired up or you're losing energy all right in today's edition we shall be talking about dedication and at the end of this conversation i believe you will be able to pick up right from where you are and then get back on track welcome once again and of course welcome to the month of march all right speaking about dedication i would like to share just like we most likely already know that dedication means commitment it means loyalty it also means being fervent to a cause to a vision to a dream to a person to an institution or to a people so the big question now is what spurs dedication what fuels the flame of dedication and loyalty i believe the the expected outcome the results that you expect to get at the end of the day is what keeps your fire burning okay so a renowned productivity and time management coach called mark petit shared some perspectives on how to stay motivated how to stay dedicated how to stay loyal to your cause of actions and i would like to pick a few points and share with us today one he says put measurements in place measurements in place how do you measure how do you track progress in the course of your journey so if you have a target you need to be able to say at this milestone at that milestone you know this will be 20 percent that will be 40 percent that will be 50 70 80 and so forth and so on and so when those measurement parameters or matrices are in place you will be able to look back check where you are and give yourself a tick or an x and then that helps you stay dedicated to your course so if you're doing really well usually it comes with excitement and that excitement somehow spurs you to want to complete or push to the finishing line so that's about putting measurements in place another one he shared he said um, be very enthusiastic be very passionate be very energetic about your dream and your vision which means put everything you've got in it be emotionally involved so um if you think of some successes you've um marked in the past reflect and you see that it came with some level of excitement you're building a new house and then you see how the blocks had come up together and you know they are roofing they're painting they're furnishing it comes with excitement and that excitement keeps you dedicated to the course because you're seeing the progress though little little but of course when you join them together you see that remarkable progress it keeps you spurred on in the same vein think about something you've done in the past that didn't go well most likely you were not motivated you were not emotionally connected and you know deep into it and that also has a way of bringing that negative energy laxity and drag into your pursuit and eventually it impacts your outcome so mark petit says you need to be emotionally involved and enthusiastic about your dream number two he also said you need to put measurements in place and number three stay motivated number one and two when you put measurements in place and you empty yourself emotionally involved and connected to that dream that passion that vision loyal to that people that institution it helps spur up motivation and when you're fired up you're positively um, energetic about that dream you sure will you know push yourself and mark a win all right just as i close i would like to share that it's also okay to reappraise the motive of your vision is it something that would impact you impact people the environment around you what's the motive of that dream so there are times you you lack motivation or you just suddenly lose interest and get so flattened maybe because the dream the vision the goal is not 
passionate. I mean, at some point you just lose it. So it's okay to reappraise your dream, reappraise your goal, check the impact. And if you check it and you see that it's not um, a life impacting kind of dream or vision, even you personally don't even see the impact it brings. It's okay to drop it and then get a new strength, get a new energy and try again and start all over again. So reappraise your dreams, reappraise your visions. And if after doing that, the answer is yes, yes, yes. You feel energetic about it. Then, hey, all you need to do is match on. So welcome to March once again. It's a beautiful month and the message is simple. March, March, March on. And so enjoy yourself. I'll see you at the end of the month. First of April, we're going to discuss and see how far we did in March. So this is a new month edition of Make It Plan with Tracy. It's a new month. I celebrate with you. Celebrate your successes. Celebrate your milestones. And don't forget to march, march, march on. So until next um, section, next episode, stay blessed and I love you.